I guess, um, just describe your experience here and what awaits you. What do you think about what's coming up this summer? Um, yeah, it was it was awesome here. It was a great experience, and uh, you know, really, really thankful for the opportunity and. Uh, thankful for you know Chris for um, giving me that opportunity as well. So don't have a bad word to say about the organization and the opportunity that was mm -hmm. presented here. So I had a blast, and uh, I think it's a special group in here. I think uh, I think they'll find a way to win. I think they'll um, you know get there. They have great leadership, and uh, it's a great organization. Obviously, the fans are very passionate too. So it's a fun place to play. And you how, went through. Okay. I was just say how how. Physically able, were you? Um, are you? Um, what do you need to do in the off season? Yeah, I signed a bunch out there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so uh, no, I mean, I, I, I commend the the training staff and and Jim Jim Ramsey, Ramsey and the staff just on like getting me as ready as possible for the playoffs, and um, you know, felt pretty good. Not like a hundred percent, but felt pretty good. So. You know, we'll figure everything out, talk to the doctors, and kind of see what the plan is going forward. So you're not sure whether you're going to need surgery, whether you're going to have surgery, whether it may impact the start of next season? That's, that's still uh, decided. Yeah, there's not a decision on that yet. But, um, yeah, we're going to have to, you know, find a way to, you know, get me back to as close as 100% as possible because, you know, I think there's – you know, even me personally, like I look at that series and I know if like I felt a little bit better, I can like I can help us win that series, you know. So it's it's a little like almost like disappointing and, and depressing in a way, but um, that's just kind of how I feel about it. Did you come in that way or did it? Yeah, really yeah, it's been it's been, you know, it's been a couple of years mm -hmm. going on. So and now because of the uncertainty, does that leave uncertainty for you and what? comes with free agency is it a decision that you everybody looks yeah. at that July 1st date and says yeah. this is it could this be put off for a while for you like as far in as terms like of what you where your future is after you know for what team you go to like, oh so. yeah I mean I, I don't even know what's going to happen in that regard um I think the the main focus is just the health right now and to, mm -hmm. to get that all figured out and it, I mean, what I mean is like you may not sign July 1st or you could sign July 1st you don't know it's, it's still know. up in the air yeah well I mean I don't know I mean I just I just I've never been a free agent I don't really know how it works out or mm -hmm. you know with with teams like that so I mean it's just yeah we'll see how it all plays out I guess can, can you imagine any scenario where you come back here of course I would love to be back I mean it would be uh you know like I said if, if, if I feel like if I you know, can feel better and, uh, and, and, you know, with this team and with this opportunity, I would love that, love that chance. I know they have, you know, young guys to sign and uh, proper, probably other priorities, but, um, yeah, I don't, like I said, I don't have a bad thing to say about the organization or the situation. I thought it was, it was an, uh, an amazing experience for me, and uh, I know, like, you know, I'm turning 35 next year, but it's not like I feel old, you know. It's like, uh, you know, I still feel pretty young. I feel like the passion is still there. Like, I still, you know, know that I can be a top player if, you know, if my focus is, like, solely on hockey instead of, like, how I feel that day, right? How difficult was it to be laboring during this opportunity here? No, like I said, I mean, I think the, the training staff did a really good job of getting me to, to feel as good as I possibly could. So, um, you know when the game starts you think about hockey you think about playing but I think before that it's just kind of a lot of, of a lot of you know maintenance and thinking about you know how you're going to get yourself to feel the best as possible to play so I think that's kind of like uh, you know just the situation it was but um, no I mean it's just like you just look at certain situations and you're like yeah I could if we're down a goal here or there and you could take over in a situation and help the team get out of a little rut, then that's where I think I could have, you know, really helped a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, it was, uh, I mean, I, it, was a, it was a seven game series. It could have went either way. I think they were probably the better team, but um, it was uh, it was fun to be back in the playoffs and back in the mix and, and playing that meaningful hockey. Patrick, you put roots down in Chicago, obviously. Um, do you see any scenario in which you could maybe head back there as a free agent? Uh, 
I, I haven't really thought about that to be honest with you, but I know they're they're rebuilding and, and uh so that's really <laughs> never crossed my mind to be honest with you. Have you now you've had a couple of days, the kind of the emotional roller coaster of this whole year for you is yeah. did, did you feel like maybe that took more of a toll than you while you're in it to than now that you're done with it to um, think about? No, no, I mean I was I was uh you know, ready and excited about a, a long playoff run, so definitely you know, it's like I said, it's disappointing and almost like depressing just to be done and uh, and finished with this year. So, like I said, there's other priorities now, and hopefully, uh, hopefully we can take care of those. Can you point out having having been on three winning teams? Can you can you point out where this might have gone awry after the first two games? Um. No, I just think like uh, like in in certain situations when you're struggling, it's like you know you need a bounce or you need you know I look back at our teams that won. We had Andrew Shaw, Marcus Kruger, Dave Bowen. Those guys scored big goals for us, right? So you need like sometimes you need a depth guy to just kind of get one and get you on the right track a little bit. Um, you know, you look at the team; it's not really like. I mean, I know Kreider and Shesterkin and Fox had great series, but besides that, it wasn't like anyone really had great series, so it's like kind of a collective thing, right? Um, but, uh, yeah, I think all of us probably look at, at ourselves in the mirror and say, you know, we wish we could have done a little bit more here or there and uh, maybe help us get through it. How quick do you think you'll get your health stuff figured out? Uh, I think, um, like, as far as, like, a decision mm -hmm. and all that, I mean, I'm hoping pretty quick. Yeah, mm -hmm. so hopefully in the next week or so and then go from there.